I felt a great sense of responsibility that very, very young viewers would come to this uh, film. And so there's a chance to show a kind of example of how you think life might be lived, or as Cinderella, we discover things it could be lived if you believe in courage and if you believe in kindness and if you believe in those things as expressions of strength, not weakness. So my approach was partly to really take that challenge to have a chance of making an impression on a younger audience that you have a unique privilege and responsibility to, to do in a story that can both entertain but also illuminate um, at key moments in their lives. The film partly deals with the loss of parents and, and that's an important thing and a difficult thing and a, it's a sensitive issue to handle inside a film like this but it was one of the things that attracted me. There was a chance to do that with with compassion and with, with some complexity and, and with uh, layered performances. And so that human element, the human and the humane element was what I wanted to try and find right at the heart of Cinderella. We wanted him to be a thinking man and a sensitive man, a funny man, a man who knows how the palace works. He knows there's pressure on him politically to get married to the right person for the sake of the, the country. And he's sensitive to that because he's a loyal young man and he very much adores and loves his father who's a wise and gracious king, but he is also his own man. We needed that to come across in the performance and we needed the kind of passion and fire that would mean he would be a Cinderella's equal. You know, we've got to feel with Cinderella that the guy who comes along is worthy of her. He can't be just a sap. Um, he needs to be somebody you feel will be a, a companion where this union between them is potentially an inspirational one, particularly as they'll end up being, in our story, king and queen. So it's not just about even their relationship, it's about, as it were, how they symbolize that kind of partnership for their country. So it's very important that we had someone equally open to Cinderella uh, and with whom there could be great chemistry. And they do have wonderful chemistry. And when they look at each other, you feel a deep connection and, um, and a shared sense of... Uh, fun and sharpness. They're both very quick-witted people. And Richard Madden is very masculine in, in the sense of his very, very male and very strongly male opposite this very strongly female Cinderella in all the right ways. Cinderella has set-piece moments. It's a film where when you sit down to watch it you realize that from 3 to 93 probably everyone in that movie theater uh, has, knows the story. And so when Dante Ferretti had this, the challenge of this film to make, it was, well, what do you do with a ballroom? What do you do with a golden coach? What do you do with the attic into which Cinderella has been locked? What do you do with a glass slipper? Uh, and these were challenges that wanted to somehow meet the audience's expectations, you know, because you didn't want to disappoint them, but you needed to exceed them and also allow your own vision of it to, to, uh, to, to shine through and bring some originality to it. I certainly wanted the ball to feel like the kind of event that all our audience would want to dress up and go to. Not that it should be stuffy and off-putting, uh, but that it was lively and uh, fun and, and uproarious and full of energy. Um, would get the endorphins swimming around. And uh, so uh, there was, there was going to have to be a very uh, particular kind of choreography. So we have Rob Ashford, who does, I've worked with many times now, has done a wonderful job on choreographing it with his associate, Chris Bailey. And... Um, and our actors to be right in the heart of that. So uh, Lily James and Richard Madden learned the dance, which we planned very early as we did the music with Patrick Doyle, a longtime collaborator of mine who came up with the most beautiful tune and simplicity of arrangement for it so that that culmination of what so many people think is the point of Cinderella, they get to the ball, they dance. So that needed dramatically to satisfy the audience. 